Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Alex, where are we today? We're at St. Martin. We're in St. Martin aboard the beautiful Wonder of the Seas. This is our fourth calendar day aboard the uh, seven night cruise uh, to the uh, Eastern Caribbean. So I wanted to talk a little bit about, wait, Alex, shouldn't you be in school right now? <gasps> yeah. You are in school. That's right. So how do we travel so much and Alex is still very well educated, working on fractions, reading, doing sight words, uh, working on his phonics and learning history, social studies, all the subjects, including PE, because we work out. How do we work out? Do we do miniature golf? Yeah. Miniature golf, what else do you like to do for PE? I like to, I like to do sports. And uh, so we do have a uh, IEP in the public school system for his speech. However, he does see a uh, speech uh, therapist every week. And how wonderful is it that we're able to do this from Zoom. Now, last year during the pan uh, peak of the pandemics, I should say, when all the schools around the US and globally were doing remote learning, most of them using a tablet or a laptop device uh, via Zoom and then some sort of uh, pro computer program to turn in their assignments, well, that worked very well for us. We traveled around the US, actually globally, um, doing our travels, and we were still on top of his schooling. His, uh, his school, when he went to Sticks and Bricks, was uh, about 26 students to one teacher, which I understand is standard around the public school system, but he needs a little bit more special care for his learning, so, Chris and I elected to pull him out of uh, traditional school and we homeschool him. Now we went through several different uh, programs for his homeschooling and we actually go through a public school system in Washington that is all virtual. So what's nice is it is all internet based. There is no um, in-person uh, go to the uh, school uh, meetings. It is all via Zoom and the Canvas program. Uh, for additional learning, he uses the core, the core six, the Alexa program. He uses what's the math one called? What what math program do you use? Uh, I don't know. Zern. 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 Yes, thank you. I totally forgot about that. So there are lots of resources out there. But this has been wonderful because I am able and fortunate to be able to be at home or wherever with Alex and do our uh, schooling. So one of the most wonderful things about uh, the way we do school with Alex is doing it remotely. We were, like, for instance, we're aboard the beautiful Wonder of the Seas right now. Uh, we're docked in St. Martin uh, on the cruise. And again, it's, we don't call this a vacation because we are not on vacation. We are on a trip. This is cultural enrichment. We love to travel. He's been traveling since, uh, boy, he was two months old when we did our first flight. So this guy is just loves to travel constantly on the road, whether it's on a cruise boat, resorts, or in our RV, but we're able to do the school. Again, it's business before pleasure. We're still on the boat. We got everything ready to go, our internet gateway. And of course, there's Wi-Fi on the ship. Uh, we're, since we're in land, there is cellular service, and we're able to uh, connect to the internet. Alex, what do you like best about doing school this way? What, what like is your favorite? Speech. You like speech. What do you like about speech? What's your favorite? I like reading. Reading? Good, good. What else do you like? I like... I like... Like cruise ship. Cruise ship. All right. So I will tell you that homeschooling remote learning is not for everybody. There's strict guidelines that you have to meet prior to being accepted to any virtual academy or homeschool program. There are several states around the United States that you you do not need to inform the public school system to withdraw your child and homeschool them but it is a federal requirement for you to perform some form of education for your child that meets uh, the standards. 
if you're ever worried about your kid having uh, any social deficiencies, uh, homeschooling them, well, if you live in the middle of oh, Montana or uh, uh, desert of Arizona and not around anybody else, well, you would have you would have some issues anyway as far as uh, social interaction. But as far as the, what we do is. He is immersed in multiple cultures. Of course, we speak multiple languages in the house, and he's doing very, very good at that. We're working on additional languages, and being on a cruise ship, you have close to 80 nationalities on this ship, and he gets to meet a lot of them. And that's just the crew themselves. Passengers, he gets to meet kids from all over the world. Every week, they get to network very well. So this guy makes friends the very first day and gets to play with the kids either at the Splash Park or in the Adventure Ocean for Royal Caribbean Cruises, uh, the, uh, the kids program uh, on Princess Cruises, We're, wherever we are, there's always kids programs. Even at resorts, they do have that. So Alex gets to interact with kids from all over the United States and all over the world um, from all different backgrounds. So. As far as uh, social interactions, there's definitely no deficiencies in uh, how we do this. So on average, we do about anywhere from three and a half to up to five hours of schooling every single, five days a week. I won't say every single day, but sometimes, oh, maybe we'll be at a good port or a good location or we'll have something going on on, say, a Wednesday and we won't do uh, schooling that day but we will do the textbook schooling on a saturday and sunday just to make up for it but there is a minimum requirement that you have to do uh, to meet uh, meet the criteria of the certain program that we are in so in just a couple moments uh, alex is going to uh, start on his language arts also known as english and uh, we're gonna uh, go over this week's sight words, this week's spelling words. We're gonna read two stories. And I believe uh, last Charlie. couple weeks we worked on opinion writing. We made our topic sentence and our supporting statements and made into a uh, full paragraph form. But now we're gonna write, learn about fact writing. We're gonna find a fact we're gonna have supporting statements and then form it into a uh, full paragraph. So that's what we're gonna start in just a few minutes. Thanks again for tuning in. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel as we cover just about everything there is uh, as far as our traveling with RV, cruise ships, resort staying, Hotel. hotels, airport, whatever the case may be. But we do focus on family, uh, family traveling and with kids. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye! Bye.